All right, guys, there is zero exaggeration when I say that this is the 10th time I record this video. I am frustrated. I, I feel it in my core, but I'm still right here trying to get it going for you guys. Okay, so we're on touch picks right now. This is my account. We are going to hover over, going to hover over events. David, relax. All right, guys, let's hover over, over to events right here. And we're going to use 360 class. As you guys can see right over here, there's no overlay yet. And that's because that's where we're going to work on together during class. Now, let's go ahead and click manage right here and click the little notepad. That's going to take us to this section, which we already covered on uh, day two, part one of how to set up an event using touch picks. If you have not seen that video, I highly recommend you watch this part so that everything can make sense. Okay, we're going to hit submit right here. And then when we're uh, in submit, we're going to go to designer right over here. Congratulations to everybody who's bought a 360 photo booth. I bet you're excited. It's, it's a game changer, man. So we're going to go to templates right here. And we want to make sure there's a slow-mo overlay right over here. Slow-mo overlays. I'm going to scroll all the way down and we're going to select this one. Slow-mo overlay number five. The reason we're choosing this one is because this one's becoming more popular as people want to post their videos on TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, all that great stuff. So we're going to select this one and then we're going to go to upload right here. And then hover right over this question mark and template number five. The dimensions are 1072 by 1920. We're going to go over to Canva, guys. Now I'm repping Canva to the fullest today. And I'm not affiliated with them in any shape, way, or form. But the, the honest truth is, as a 360 photo booth operator, time is essential. So if you can make an overlay in less than two or three minutes, you are gold. When I first started doing overlays, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I was taking close to two hours to come up with an overlay. I was using like several different apps like Photo P, um, PNG, Wing. I was using like all kinds of apps just to come up with my little overlay. But now... I know Canva is going to be my best friend and my go-to, and I'll show you guys why. So we're here on Canva. Let's go ahead and jump over to thumbnail right here, YouTube thumbnail. And then we're going to go to the resize right over here. And then the dimensions were for our template that we picked today, 1072 by 1920. 1072 by 1920. 1072 by 1920. We're going to go to resize. And this is the template that we're working with. That's going to be our actual size, which is great because it shows where the borders are at, right? So let's go ahead and get started on a theme. Let's see. Fourth of July is right around the corner. So I've been getting calls for like people um, looking to rent because of the graduation. But I'm going to go to Fourth of July. And it's showing us some templates that we can use for the Fourth of July. Some of these are pretty awesome. We can actually use some of this stuff. Um, let's see if we can start doing something with this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the blue area and then hit delete. And then um, what else should I get rid of? This right here, I don't really need. I'm going to go ahead and hit delete, delete, delete. I'm loving this right here. So I'm going to grab this, this ribbon, and I'm going to move it down here. Because I think this will be a good place to have it at. 4th of July. Now, as far as this stuff, I'm going to go ahead and delete this as well. Um, this right here, I, I kind of like. I kind of like. It's patriotic. So I can actually move these. I could actually delete these two as well. Delete these. And then this, I can I move around just like this. So we can probably have just one hanging from the top right up here. Maybe it'll look cool. Let's try it out. Not too bad, but then we have this gap right here, which I don't really like. Let's see, yeah, so we're not gonna use that. Okay, let's go ahead and see what other stuff we can use. Let's go to elements right here, elements, and then type in 4th of July. And maybe we can grab, let's see, let's grab this one right here just to kind of see how it would look if we put it right down here. I, yeah, that's not too bad show you something really quick so when i do this you see how it's over it's it's behind right so if you want to move this to the front just go right up here where it says position and then uh forward and now it's you know blocking the lettering because we brought it up forward so that's how you guys do that i'm gonna leave that there for now i'm sure you guys are gonna be more creative than me when it comes to this stuff 
and I'm gonna put this right up here that actually looks nice um, and then what else can we do oh you know what we can do oh it's already at the bottom 4th of July is already at the bottom then we can add some of this stuff right here as well right here and then we can resize it right put it back here, up here right there put this and stretch it out a little bit oh, I'm just gonna leave it like that I'm just, I want you guys to get an idea of um oh this one's nice See if I can just delete these two Grab this one, make it larger, and move it up here. No, that's not gonna look nice. How about this one? I'm really trying to avoid this type of uh, layout, and I think I'm gonna just do this instead. Have some balloons up here, and then twist it a little bit like that. Like this. Yes, I think I'm just going to do this instead. The reason why is I don't want to block too much here. I don't want to block it because I don't want to be blocking people's faces when the the video is recording, right? I don't want to do that. Um, maybe use this right here. And then twist it a little bit this way and shrink it. Put it here on this corner. Actually, something like this is like super simple, and I think we should roll with something like this. Um, maybe on this bottom part, right here in this bottom part, we can do a little heart, you know? A little heart right here in the bottom. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. This is cool. You kind of you, know, you get to play with this, and but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it like this for now. Hey, little girl. Okay, fit over here. Oh, I guess we'll leave her in there. Okay, so this is it. Super simple. It only took a few moments, um, and we're ready to save this. So let's go ahead and save it right here. I'm going to go to download. And what's cool about Canva is that all you have to do is click transparent background, and it's going to make this transparent so you can use it as your overlay. You just keep it as a PNG so we won't sacrifice any quality and hit download. And this is downloading for us right now. Um, one thing about Canva, guys, is that this uh this stuff that i'm using it's pro meaning uh there's a monthly subscription to it i'm using the free trial right here i'm using if i go to billing i'm using canva pro it's only 13 bucks a month you are a 360 photo booth operator this is nothing to you this is actually a great tool that you should have in your arsenal um definitely worth 13 dollars a month it's a no-brainer i'm just doing the trial right now you can do the trial for yourself and try it out take it for a spin see how you love it see how you like it um but this is where i use uh what i'm using to make my youtube uh, thumbnails as well that's saving me a bunch of time so now that that's done and this is a uh, camera for you guys let's go over to touch picks right here and we're going to enter our custom overlay by hitting browse and looking for the one we just did which is this one right here the fourth of july one it's there and now i'm going to go ahead and click on it and boom it's set it's good to go it's fourth of july baby let's roll i'm gonna go to the right over here and add the template it's gonna say adding template and as it adds the template we are going to go over right over here where it says dashboard and then we're going to check out our events we want to make sure that that overlay is recorded onto our template so what we do is we go here select that and there it is our overlay is ready guys it's super dope it's fourth of july it's hot all right, cool. So that's done. That's how you come up with an overlay for your clients using Canva. And as you guys can see how easy we were able to make this just within a few moments, you don't have to struggle like I did when it was taking me close to two hours of doing something simple like this, trying to resize everything and organize everything. This is just super friendly. I love it. This is how you do an overlay for touch picks using Canva. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit me with a like. Don't forget to subscribe because I am giving away a 360 photo booth at the end of this whole free training course. Someone's going to graduate with a free 360 photo booth. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay positive. Bye.